Hi, I'm Pat Summerall, and you may recognize me from my NFL broadcast on television. I've been covering professional sports for a lot of years now, and I'm still active today, thanks to the revolutionary world of vision correction. You know, in my job, I had to be able to see the players on the field. I also had stats in front of me at all times, so every angle of vision was important to me. Now, with the crystal lens procedure, I see just as well as I did when I was younger. I'd like to share that with you today and encourage you to ask questions and explore the possibilities of sight with the crystal lens. You'll be happy you did. So let's now take a look at this new technology and see how it works. Whether we're seeing the smiling face of a loved one or a favorite television show, our eyes are our windows to the world. Whether near or far, the young eye can focus on just about any object. But what happens inside the eye to make this possible? As early as the 1930s, Fincham theorized that the eye's natural lens flexes and arches. The purpose of this video is to illustrate this accommodative flexing and arching, which take place in both the natural crystalline lens and in today's accommodative intraocular lenses. As the focus changes from distant to near objects, the ciliary muscles contract, the ciliary fibers slacken, and the crystalline lens becomes more rounded for near vision. This process is known as accommodation. As we get older, however, our eyes lose the ability to accommodate. We may develop cataracts, which cloud the natural lens and can prevent a clear image from forming on the retina. Patients may choose to replace the natural lens with an accommodating intraocular lens. Like the natural lens, the crystal lens creates accommodation from distance to near vision by moving along the visual axis. Both the original crystalline lens and the crystal lens also arch or change their radius of curvature to increase their accommodation. They both move anteriorly and flex or arch to increase their focusing power in the intermediate and near ranges. We can now bridge the generation gap with accommodating lenses. They allow us to restore the near and intermediate vision of our middle adulthood.